Are you ready to go solar? Let's do it. Welcome to Noah's Ark in Saw Homestead. I'm going off the grid. So let's start off with the batteries here. See, I put these uh, plastic panels on here. Uh, make sure uh, critters don't uh, get in here and sit on here and electrify themselves. You can already see I got to my uh, cat here. He likes to hang out over here, looks like. Um, but I think we shoot him away here enough where he's not getting in here because, like I said, it makes gases. It can be deadly uh, for um, you and animals if not ventilated. See, I made it this um, thing here it's on the back of. Uh, so, in this case, these were to explode or catch fire, it's not going to catch uh, the back of the cabin on fire. Uh, so, hopefully, this will retain it enough, at least for me to get it put out or something. Okay, now you see this all um, connected here. I actually had a 24. Um, 24 volt system going uh, and I recently burnt out my inverter and so you're also going to see in here on me conf configuring to a 12 volt system so uh, that's going to be the plan so you see I have uh, eight batteries and these are actually six volt um, batteries there we go they're actually um, six volt um, marine uh, and golf cart uh, batteries. And you see I put uh, each one in two sets of uh, series. So here, 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 here. And uh, of course now thinking about it when I have these, these are my leads. I probably should have put one of them over here on this one and and flip this one over here I think that probably would have made it uh, more efficient but okay so I'm gonna break this down we're gonna line it back up for a 12 volt system kind of something I did with my uh, wrench here I put the whole in with the electrical tape because I was worried as I'm uh, Screw in here. I don't want to, you know, connect here and then short out like that. So, tape. Okay, if you see any corrosion, I'm going to kind of sandpaper uh, some of that off of that. Okay, maybe even hit it with a little WD-40. Okay, got them better rearranged. Well, I'm at it here. Might as well check the uh, water level. All of them, they all seem to be fine. Okay, went ahead and made these cross connections going from positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Because these are um, six volts batteries, and now they're all 12 volts now. All right, I just got my uh, parallel connections in. I'm sure that looks like a Big jumble mess, and I don't have anything color coded, but uh, you know, I just gotta take your time thinking about it. Okay, now I'm gonna hook up my two leads here, which I um, pretty much made uh, out of a set of jumper cables because that was about a quarter price of um, buying uh, cables this long for this. And I gotta show you how uh, I did that. A little bit so uh where well, i'm gonna hook these two i think on the instruction said go from the outer ones in um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hook this one to this negative right here and this positive to this positive over here and then on for my um this is where my solar comes in and i'm gonna hook that like on the same thing on the opposite corners all right, there we go. Got all my uh, connections. Got my two leads for, uh, coming into the inverter, and these are my two leads to go into my charge controller. All right, let's go check out the charge controller. 
Well, there's been no thing good about this charge controller is that it can do uh, 12 and uh, 24 volt systems. So, even though I just reconfigured from a 24 to a 12 volt, it still works and it automatically reads uh, what it is. So, that's pretty nice. And, uh, Put these in. These are uh, some fuses. Uh, normally you rate the fuse for what it is. Put a 40 amp um, fuse, but I couldn't find one. I think it's a 30 amp fuse. So it's easy to replace uh, anyway. But it's been working so far. Okay. I just got me a new uh, inverter. I, um, <clears throat> I'm uh, reconfiguring from a 24 volt system uh, to this 12 volt uh, system. Uh, like I said, because the other one burnt out and I'm trying to uh, get it working again. And, uh, well, got, you know, I got this from Harbor Freight. So, so hopefully, this is a pretty, pretty good one. It's uh, I like that it has looks like a breaker on the front and everything. Yeah, so hopefully having uh, this right here, you can reset anytime it pops. And the instruction says it had a uh, pretty good shutoff systems. Uh, it will quit working. And uh, so yeah, it looks like it comes with a remote. Um, wired in it's like you can have that kind of wired into your uh, place and look this is a pure sine wave uh, my other one was a modified so um, hopefully just be better for the TV and stuff and uh, other uh, uh, charging laptop and everything Looks like they got some uh, some of it bundled up inside. I guess that's if you trip, it'll kind of pull and won't uh, jerk it out of the uh, your thing here. Okay, just saw this. Use only two odd uh, six feet long. Whereas mine is uh, the two gauge, but uh, mine cable is about 11 foot. So I'm going to be kind of pushing it a little bit. Okay, moment of uh, truth here. Hopefully this won't spark. Okay, let's turn it on. See what happens. System normal. Show some uh, things. Oh, let's look, let's look up the fridge. All right, it's working. It's a working. Let's see here. Fridge going. Yeah. Freezer going. All right. Now this charge controller also shows me um, how much percent the battery is. So that's good. All right, back to the batteries. You saw that I had 71% uh, on my in, on my inverter, my charge controller. These lead acid batteries, you should not get anywhere close to, you shouldn't uh, 50% or draw uh, past 50%. You get a damage deal. All right, on to our panels over here. So for the moment, I have like those uh, batteries inside that uh, those bricks there for fire, and then I have a uh, a panel here that I just put my uh, panels on. All right, I'm not sure exactly what angle that is, but uh, it gets some good. Uh, 
sun over there. I meant to take that tree out uh, here soon. I'm not gonna have all that sky uh, for this. And so, so when I had it on um, 24 volt system, I had to take two and two. I made a uh, um, uh, put uh, a set in series so so each one of those will make the 24 volts and then I put those two into a parallel um, circuit so so I think I might just have to run all this in a parallel to keep the um, the 12 volts while making uh, I guess four times the uh, amperage but before I can put all these in uh, parallel I think I have to order me another set of these they kind of snap onto the ends of um, the solar panels well, at least I can hook up two of them hook these two into parallel brought in the the two positive from each one in the here and then the two negative ones in here and this all feeds back into my uh, charge controller inside. Let's go see how many uh, amps that's now pulling. Okay, I got full sun with two out of four panels connected. Let's see what uh, I can see here. All right. I got seven point seven amps seven point six okay let me go see if I can uh plug all my four of my panels in now so I finally got my order in for my connectors so I can have all four in parallel circuit here so I think I finally got it all every time I feel like I got a it all put together, I feel like I'm missing a, I realize I'm missing a single piece or something. So let's get it hooked together. All right, got these connected to my positive negative leads. Going to my controller. Okay, they should all be connected together in parallel. Let's go see if that doubled our amps. Well, sure went from 7.6 to 10. So, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely getting quite a bit more power out of it. Right, let's look at the charge controller here we got the uh, the MPPT which is supposed to be better than the uh, the other kind the cheaper kind and um, I can't think of it off the top of my head just now and this one I can also do 12 and 24 volt, volt, uh, volt which but I made sure one of my first criteria was for the 24 volt that's nice you can go back and forth and of course it does a maximum of 600 uh, watt panels so I got four 100 watt panels they say each one of them can you know kind of surge at the peak so I really didn't want to load more than four panels on this particular one I saw one guy he actually had dual uh, charge controllers where I think he had like four or five panels per controller so that's something I might have to think about yeah it's pretty neat like a giant heat sink Looks like you put your solar here battery here and your load Looks like they got some uh, easy instructions here Oh, this is even a uh, cut on how to mount it on your wall. Something in the baggie here.
Looks like this could be also another controller. Not quite sure, but it looks like it might be uh, some kind of thermal coupler. I haven't actually read the instructions yet. So, I guess I'll probably do that uh, here in a moment. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I made with my lead. I bought this here. It's a two gauge uh, a jumper cable, 20 foot there. And uh, for how much it cost, uh, I think it was like 27 bucks. I just cut it in half, and this is going to be my lead um, coming back to the house. And I uh, I don't know if I use the right crimpers, but I just use those the crimpers from the, making the, the actual wire cable crimpers. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully it'll work. I think they're crypt on it pretty good. Might tape them with some wire here. Uh, so, put some electrical tape on them, I mean. Yeah, I was also kind of hoping I can, uh, just retach, uh, the two ends on there and, uh, and get a nice, uh, set of jumper cables to replace, uh, these ones my old ones so I was hoping it'd be kind of a two-for-one deal I was kind of concerned uh, if you see that I wonder if this is copper coated wire not actually copper wire because it seems silver when I cut that hmm I'm sure somebody can tell me what's going on there with that <sighs> okay I guess I gotta say this disclaimer that working with some of these panels and the big battery banks can be dangerous. Not only uh, electrify yourself and of course the lead acid batteries uh, I'll be using or uh, if not uh, ventilated or in your house can catch fire, explode and uh, all kinds of craziness. And uh, so Best to get certified people, know what they're doing. I sure don't. I'm just an amateur. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And also, in um, most cities now, if you have panels like this that mount on the roof, by law, you have to get a hook to the grid. And to get a hook to the grid, you have to be a certified electrician or hire one, obviously. So, uh, that's another racket for where they're going to buy from uh, your electricity for pennies and then they sell to the next guy a premium, but I'm not getting into that right now. Alright, enough talk. <laughs> hey guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe, maybe even leave a comment. These videos are for entertainment and inspirational purposes, only to uh, inspire you. Have a blessed day.